Day. Coburn from Coburn's Domain here. Um, what do you see in front of you, oh well, the video actually has, this is running a Odroid U2. That's the little thing over there. Yup. That little, you may not see it, but that's what it looks like. Yep, it may look a bit ugly, but that's what the little sucker is. Okay. So simply put, this has the same hardware configuration as what you would see in a Galaxy Note 2. Um, that means it's got a 1.7 GHz quad-core processor, a Mali 400 GPU, which is quad-core as well, um, and it can also take eMMC, which is apparently 50 times faster than a Class 10 SD card, and it can also do um, micro SDs. So what we're running at the moment is Android f Ice Cream Sandwich. Do note there is a um, a Jelly Bean um, distro for them, but we are well at, well at the moment I'm running Ice Cream Sandwich just because I know it works. As you can see, there's n it's not touch screen, so I can't just tap the screen. That's um, it's a HDMI monitor, so manually have to just use the mouse. So let's dismiss this and let's go there. So basically, that's all the juicy goodness of like that. Um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth obviously don't work because they only are add-ons. You have to the actual Odroid doesn't run. Um, Android on via, um, you know, there's no wireless and Bluetooth built in onto the motherboard um, of the device, so the, you have to manually do it. Um, down the bottom here, you've got your pretty much your stock Android launch and everything. No recent apps, um, volume up and down, shut down, and take a screenshot, I believe. Well, that's what it does. <laughs> um, let's have a look in the options here. So we've got pretty much a oh, go away, silly shoot. Um, so pretty much that's Odroid. That's the guys that make it. File Explorer, browser, or the Dice Player. Um, I would prefer MX Player Pro. Um, but yeah, looking at all that, it's pretty good. Um, of course, you can't make phone calls. But um, <laughs> I guess that's just part of the stock Android build. But um, let's have a look under the settings. So we've got Wi-Fi if we've got it all that. In Ethernet configuration, we can. Um, we don't want to turn it off. Probably crash the device. No. Okay, it's waiting. Old. Well, you have to plug in the Ethernet cable. But um, yeah, um, gives you all of that, which is pretty cool. Um, sound, phone ringtones, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I would guess that's probably probably used by Skype or something or whatever your program we got it. But um, different notifications, you know. So all of that is pretty cool. Um, touch sounds. I'd, um, I don't really. Well, there's no touch screen on this, so you know why bother. Um, hmm. Eighty percent battery. That's weird. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I guess that's probably faked, but um, I'm not sure why it's actually saying eighty percent. Um, hmm. That's a bit weird. Yeah, eighty percent. Not charging. <laughs> nice. Unless that's getting CPU um, stuff, but yeah. Um, okay. About tablet. So here we are. We've got um, that's we're version 3.0.57. So, sorry, 51. I can't read. <laughs> um, Baseband. We don't know what the radio version is because it's not a. It doesn't have a 3G chip. We'll be using Ice Cream Sandwich, and if we click there, we get that no, um, 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. There you go, 9 cat um, sandwiches. So, it's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> um, so, you 2 that status is all that. Um, 
don't know what that is there. It's definitely, it doesn't have a smartphone chip on. Hmm. Don't know. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, brightness, wallpaper, auto-rotate, all that jazz. Um, do note that the, you can also get the configuration with... Um, you, can, you can get the configuration on an actual tablet, which is pretty cool. Um, the beauty of that is that it's actually a... It's $800, but... Excuse me, it's um, pretty damn good. Um, I was actually going to get one, but I decided to settle with this because it's much nicer and, you know, 85 bucks for this quad-core Jeep with CPU, you know, bargain. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, yeah. So, ice cream sandwich. I hope to do a video of doing um, jelly bean and a few benchmarks. Um, but other than that, that pretty much concludes it. I mean, okay, it's not going to be... I mean, what I've showed you is probably not going to be everything you want to have a look at, but, um, I mean, sure. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I mean, I just booted it up because I got, away, I got home from um, getting a little HDMI to... Um, HDMI to micro HDMI adapter, so, um, yeah. But other than that, um, I will probably do up a few other videos when I, um, with the actual, um, build and everything. Um, I won't be building Android myself because that requires a lot of CPU power, um, but I will probably do a few, um, videos of, um, the hu of it in action, yeah. But um, I personally believe these little devices are go pretty good and one of my um, friends is actually thinking he actually is getting one just to see if it's better than the Q-Box. I mean, uh, it all boils down. I mean, you can get these devices for all sorts of different configurations, but I think this one's probably suited for more multimedia configurations. But like he said, each one has its own purpose, you know. Um... And yeah, I know that, um, I mean, <laughs> it's a lot simpler um, than, you know, I know, hey, it's Android, so it, this, well, on the plus note, this can run Ubuntu, um, but I haven't had the time to actually sit down and put that on my SD card. I did get some SD cards today, so I might as well spend the time that I can and get it, but... Other than that, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that is good to go. So we'll go back to the main desktop. There we go. Yeah, the clock is wrong, but who gives a damn? <laughs> um, 2000, yep. There we go, 80%. Couldn't capture, and it thinks it's a damaged SD card. That's okay. All right. So, wrapping it up. That is the that is the Odroid U2 in a nutshell. Coburn's Domain has a dedicated forum for this, so if you want to discuss it and without the risk of getting flamed and stuff, um, it's pretty good. And you can also use, um, we've also mirrored the thing because the Korean download mirror is really slow. So, with that, um, there's instructions on how to get, a, get this up and running on your Odroid. But hopefully, um, this really will show some light. And I'll probably have a few tricks up my sleeve that I could probably show off um, in a f to a future day. But other than that, I'm going to call it a day on the Odroid, and you'll hear from me in the near future. For now, Coburn signing off.